you can record me and you could put it on your little YouTube channel or whatever you want to do. Where we cannot understand the kefia, we don't have enough knowledge on it. We stick to the text and what it says, and we don't dwell on the kefia. Okay, right. thank you. Just like we can't understand the kefia of Trinity. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're moving on to the 10 <laughs> Scott, really well, interesting. Yeah, let him answer forward. the question. You Glad can have 20 seconds, uh, Jake, if you'd like. Explain it again. What's the meaning of Nuzul that everybody knows? Yeah, so I, I explained it and Ibn Taymiyyah, which you said that I couldn't appeal to, which I don't know why. All I told you was I don't agree with him on every single position, and that's certainly fine. But when it comes to the Usul, I agree with him. And the fact of the matter is he explains this. He talks even about the spirit coming down and the angels and this type of so-called movement, which we cannot really understand. And he compares that to the Nuzul or descent of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says the difference in that is exponentially greater. Therefore, we cannot understand the kefia. We don't have enough knowledge on it. We stick to the text and what it says, and we don't dwell on the kefia. Okay, right. thank you. Just like we can't understand the kefia of Trinity. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're moving on to the 10 minutes.